Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Reach R Wireless 998 LoRa module, which is perfect for long-range wireless communication. This module was sent to me by Reach, and in this video, I'll show you how to set it up, how it works, and we'll do a live demo. Make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any details. What is LoRa? LoRa stands for long range and it allows devices to communicate wirelessly over large distances with low power. This is perfect for projects like remote control systems, monitoring sensors, or automation. First, we need to connect the LoRa module to the computer using a TTL to USB converter. This converter helps us connect the LoRa module with the computer so we can send and receive AT commands. After connecting the LoRa module to the computer, open the Arduino IDE and select port. And open the serial monitor to send AT commands. Type the command AT and press enter. If the module is connected properly, it will respond with OK. Now, we will set the address of the transmitter module. Each LoRa module needs a unique address. Use this command to set the address. AT plus address is equal to 1. You can also set a network ID. For example, AT plus network ID is equal to 5. Set the frequency band. AT plus band is equal to 8685000M. If you want to get information about the AT commands or check a specific setting, you can simply add question mark after the command to inquire. AT plus address question mark this command will show you the current address set for the module. You can use this method for any AT command. Now, after setting up the transmitter's AT commands, we will configure the receiver's AT commands. For this, we first need to connect the LoRa module to the TTL to USB converter, just like we did earlier. Use the same AT commands in the serial monitor. Set the receiver's address using this command. AT plus address is equal to 2. For the receiver, we only need to change the AT plus address command. Just like we set the transmitter's address to 1, we will set the receiver's address to 2. All other AT commands will remain the same as those of the transmitter.
As you can see, we've uploaded the code to both Arduino. Now, let's test it. When I press the button on the transmitter side, the LoRa module sends a signal and the LED on the receiver side turns on. When I release the button, the LED turns off. This setup can work over long distances and it's a great demonstration of how to use LoRa for simple wireless communication. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more electronics projects. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.